So hi friends, it's Jorge here, and uh, I am uh, pretty excited to share something with you all. Uh, I just uh, recently purchased a, a, a Ratio uh, Smart Sprinkler Controller. Um, we built our house not too long ago. Uh, we've got a sprinkler system out back. It has six individual zones, and it's been using a pretty nice controller set, but I'm a big geek, and I like to do big geek things. So uh, the Ratio, aside from being a smart tool that works right off your phone, can get yeah, you can schedule um, your uh, your uh, your waterings. Um, it also goes out onto the internet and uh, checks in with local weather stations and determines whether or not your lawn needs to be uh, watered. It figures it out based on recent rainfall, weather patterns, heat, humidity, uh, and it basically gives you a smart sprinkler schedule. Uh, it's kind of like Nest in some ways for your sprinkler system. Uh, so as you all know, um, my goal is to make the new house as smart as possible. I've installed all sorts of stuff. My end goal is that one day the house will get hit with, by lightning, come to life, and kill me. Uh, so this is just another step in the deadly AI direction. Uh, so today we're going to take a look at how this gets put in place. It's worth noting that as we go forward, I've already done a couple of things. Um, uh, right out of the box, uh, you can plug this thing in before you install it on the wall or tie it to your sprinkler system. You can register it, uh, you can get it onto your Wi-Fi, uh, and you can make sure that, um, that it can reach out to the cloud. This is all worth doing before you start the installation process. Uh, it, may, it saves you a lot of time. Saves you a lot of headaches so make sure that uh, the first thing you do is open this up and uh, and get it connected to your phone and your wireless system it's all there in the instructions uh, ratio sends some very um, detailed but easy to follow um, uh, directions so uh, let's get started so uh, the ratio package is uh, pretty self-contained um, before we open it up you know aside from my diabolical plans to bring my house to life i wanted you guys to know that um the ratio at least it's advertised as helping most folks save up to 25 25 to 30 percent uh of the water um that they use with non-smart systems so this should be um th this system should equate to some big savings let's take a look at what's inside uh okay so unpackaging we've got the control unit, uh, all in one piece. We'll open that up in a second. Uh, we've got the quick start guide. There's some hardware in here. The power brick lives down below. Um, pretty, uh, pretty nice little system here. Uh, we're gonna open up the unit itself. Once open here, you can see uh, uh, we've got all the connectors for the various zones. Again, um, this particular unit that we're using is an eight zone unit. Uh, so we have an existing sprinkler system that went in with the house. Uh, it has six zones in my home. So, so this gives me a little bit of space if I ever did decide to add some sprinklers anywhere. Uh, so we're gonna be taking this unit uh, and, uh, and replacing the old unit, which we can see over here in the basement. Um, this is actually a pretty nice um, Hunter Pro C unit. Uh, it's, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not what we would call smart, but it is, it is pretty, it's pretty nice, pretty solid. Um, uh, we've got lots of options on it and I'm probably going to take it down and, uh, and post it online for resale. Um, but, uh, this unit's going to be coming down to be replaced by the Ratio. Uh, so before doing anything, um, I needed to test and map uh, the existing sprinkler system. I just ran a test a little while ago, made sure all the sprinkler heads were popping up and identified what zones they were in. And I kind of mapped that out. I think it's worth uh, doing. If you're not familiar with where uh, your sprinkler heads are set up and what zone each sprinkler uh, is involved in, it's worth mapping. So I went one by one with the old system uh, and uh, ran upstairs to check to see uh, which spr sprinklers were uh, linked to which zone. So you can see I've got like a zone one along the front of the house um i've got two uh three you know so each zone is kind of marked and labeled it's not an exact map but it gives me a good sense of uh where everything's located and how they're all um grouped together in terms of the uh the zoning on the old system so that i can bring uh that same zoning to the new system so first step is check your sprinklers make sure they're working map them out uh so that way uh, if you have to undo any of the nuttiness uh you you know you'll be able to bring things back to normal 
So another thing to do before you do anything is uh, after you've tested and mapped your sprinkler system, uh, make sure you take a moment to look at the settings on your old system. Uh, this will help you with the ratio configuration, but like I said before, if you need to go back to the old system, you'll want to make sure you map all the wires in the way that you know they were originally set up. So first thing I'm going to do is make sure I remove the power from the old unit. Pop that in for a minute. Okay, and uh, this this particular model has a back end that pops open pretty easily. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure to take some pictures of this setup in here, making sure that I can see the color coding of the wires and I can see which which numbered zone they're applied to, making sure I'm observing every bit of wiring and setup and configuration inside of this box before I remove it, take it down, uh, and replace it with the ratio. Again, you never know. Uh, you might need to go back to the old system uh, uh, for some reason or another, and it's really helpful to know how it was originally configured. Okay, so now that I've got some pictures and images of that, I can begin taking this down and putting up the new ratio. Okay, we've got the old unit, uh, the old sprinkler control removed, and uh, and I've put in the new one. Just some simple drywall screws are holding that in place. Uh, and the next step should be pretty easy. Uh, the Ratio has its own power supply. Um, uh, unlike my last one, it had uh, wired power and a ground. Uh, it's just a simple input here that we'll get to at the end. Uh, so there's no reason to worry about anything other than connecting uh, the individual wires for each zone. The, this mess of wires here, these, uh, uh, these, these six wires actually represent uh, the six zones that I mentioned earlier. Now, it's a good thing that I took the time to take a picture and to map out um, how things were set up before because uh, if I want to keep the zone mapping the way that I have it, I need to make sure that I put the same colored wire into each of these zones listed here. Okay, so like I said before, um, uh, we've got uh, zones one through eight. Uh, on this system um, and, uh, and and aside from that you have the option I haven't done this yet but uh, you can add some additional rain sensors and meters and things that uh, that can make your ratio even more accurate and efficient um, but out of the box on its own it's pretty good so uh, so I'm gonna start connecting uh, these individual wires and uh, we'll see what happens then all right Okay, so <clears throat> we got to, uh, we managed to connect uh, all of the uh, zone connectors. Um, you can see them all here, uh, following the same scheme that we had in the old unit. Uh, I've got all six and a common wire in there. Um, I've also got the power uh, uh, connector in there. We're not quite plugged up and charged up yet, but, but everything's in place. Uh, I forgot to mention this, uh, and I just made this mistake myself, but uh, the unit has a, um, a nice uh, amount of space between the wall and, and, and the back of it that allows you to feed the cables up through uh, and behind uh, the ratio. Uh, it's important because if you're a bonehead like me and you put them out in front like I did a moment ago, you won't be able to put the protective case on the top. Uh, it just won't close because the cables will be in the way. So make sure you feed those up the back. Um, so everything's set up. Uh, we should be able to get this thing going. As I mentioned earlier, I've already registered this unit. I've already uh, downloaded the app. Um, uh, it, it's already a part of my wireless network. So really, I should just have to... All I should need to do is give it some power. And you can see it starts to light up. Uh, once it's fully lit, you know that it's uh, it's powered on, it's on your Wi-Fi, and it's connected to the cloud. So let's see what happens here. All right. So it's connecting to the Wi-Fi. There we go. Let's wait for this last piece. And it looks like we're almost in business. Fantastic. Okay, so we've got full steady lights. Uh, everything's connected. So the next step is uh, Ratio makes it really easy uh, to test out uh, your zones. So what we're going to do is um, I've got uh, I'm down in the basement and I can get out to uh, the rear yard pretty easily. That I know that along the outer edge it's zone five. So what I'm going to do is uh, toggle through. Now I'm in zoom one, two, three, 
four, five, and I'm gonna start her up and see what happens. Let's go take a peek. I can hear water moving through the pipes, and yeah, success. Huh, the funny part is that it's a, it's a rainy day, so I won't keep these running for very long, but uh, hopefully you can see that um, the sprinklers in zone five along the back of my yard are all going.